and it's Shovel Knight. Hey everyone, it is I, Brent, also known as the Pocket Gamer here, bringing you the return of Let's Plays. It's been a while. A long, long, long time. Stuff has happened. A lot of stuff has happened. I'm not going to get any details, but besides that, we are starting a new playthrough. Fuck Luigi's Mansion. I'm tired of... I don't know, there's something about Mario games that I can't complete. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. I, I like Luigi's Mansion, but I don't know. Anyways, it's Shovel Knight for the Nintendo 3DS, and we're going to enjoy this game. Why? Because it's Shovel Knight, and let me tell you, I've been the game already. I'm loving it. I haven't beaten New Game Plus, though, because that's fucking hard. 2014, Jock Play, uh, whatever game say, it's Shovel Knight. Start. Yes, you guys can see this is my Game Plus. And stuff. That, that was a test. I fucked up here. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, Shovel Knight was released just a, like, I think, I believe, like a month ago? So. Yeah. Did I fit it? Oh, wow, I barely fit it. Hey, pocket gaming. So yeah, let's watch this little intro right here that I'll be reading for you guys. And it's a chain of thought. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventures. Next screen. Please. Thank you. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. With his spirit broken and grieving, Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the enchantress in her order of no quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and the station moon. A new adventure is about to begin. But yeah, that's the intro for Shovel Knight. And you know what time it is? It's shoveling time. I didn't even expect it. It's a different text every single time. I didn't even expect it to be. <laughs> Trust me, guys. I didn't even see that one coming. It's shoveling time. But yeah, this is Shovel Knight for the 3DS. It's the same exact game for the uh, Wii U and PC. Um, you guys may be thinking, um, how come the boss test um, only five bars and not ten bars? Well, I don't know. You guys may be. I didn't play a demo. On when the demo, my channel didn't exist when the demo was out for the I believe it was the Xbox and PS. I don't remember what the hell it was. I think it was PC, but the demo didn't exist during that time for me. So I only saw the I only played the demo um, on my own off camera. And the boss originally had ten lives. Now I don't know. I they they I didn't feel they made it made the best decision because. Certain bosses are actually pretty hard. So, uh, they lo they reduced life counter for um, each boss and yeah, for, for each boss basically uh, to uh, six. And the first boss, which is gonna be the boss that we're gonna encounter in this video, it's a six life boss. But after that, um, every other boss is gonna be ten lives or more. No, just ten lives only. Uh, this game got uh, an amazing review, and I feel it should have gotten an amazing review because, I, like I said, this game feels just great. Feels just like an NES game. Because, I mean, you only use just a few buttons for your attacks, is pretty much it. I don't think you even need the L and R button for this game, do you? No. Come on. Yeah, you don't even need it. But yeah, it's Shovel Knight for 3DS. Shovel Knight. I love it. 
Anyways, um, I will try to uncover as many secrets that I know. So, yeah. This, game, this is going to be a full playthrough. I promise this one will be because this game was one of the most anticipated, ga anticipated games for when, um, when it was revealed. Everyone was just like freaking out for this game. So I am going to stick to my word for this one and I'm actually going to beat the game all the way through. Um, and I'm going to see how many times I die because I know there's an achievement for not dying once in the whole game. And I have not gotten that achievement, and so let's just hope this playthrough can be the achievement. I know that's an achievement. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> There's an achievement um, that basically you don't get hit. You don't get hit by any enemy in the whole stage. That's basically it. This is also an achievement for skipping um, or for destroying all checkpoints within the game, which I'm not doing because in case I do die. There you go. Um, this game just has a shit ton of achievements. Let's just leave it like that. I think uh, it has like, a new, I think it was like 47 achievements. Or I could just show you guys right here. So if you go to features, it basically is the achievements. 45 achievements. And I have 75% um, made. Only you. Very poor. Nice stage. Yeah. These are all the freaking achievements that are fucking impossible to get it. <laughs> Ow. What a dick dragon. Anyways. Fuck. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> um, Shovel Knight has been, like as the side saying before, Shovel Knight has been getting amazing reviews. I felt it should have gotten amazing reviews. I went, um, I went to Comic Con as well. For those of you who didn't know. This guy, he, um, I, I guess I'm a guest appearance on one guy's channel when Comic Con was out. And I was there trying out the Super Smash Bros. 3DS demo. Which I hope you guys see me play because it's only on the guy's channel. So, yeah. As much as I wanted to be in my channel, but I didn't have any recording equipment with me at the time. But, yeah. How much time are we in? Oh, wow. We can, we can push the videos for this one. I mean, come on, it's fucking Shovel Knight, why would I not, like, give it a chance? Uh, the music score, oh my gosh, the music is fantastic, I love every single track in this game, no doubt, and, um, but the only thing I do, because when the game was officially revealed, it said it was going to be a, um, what? And, and like an NES feel. Controls feel NES like it's just the graphics. I don't think it's NES. I feel it's more 16-bit than 8-bit because there's plus there are there are certain colors in the game that don't even belong in the NES palette, which is basically um, skin color, which you guys will see in a uh, boss that will be coming up. A lot, lot later. That has been a lot of bouncing. <laughs> I know that's also an achievement for beating the game without using collecting any of the relics, which I want to try. But god damn it, it's so hard. <laughs> this um, what relics are basically are your items which you collect through the game. They you unlock your um, blue treasure chest. But yeah, I don't want. I, I want to do it, but. God fucking damn it. it's gonna be so hard if I do, don't do it. But yet again, I have done worse challenges before, so... <sighs> no, because I, I feel like I need the fire fire one, which will acquire in the next part, which is gonna be at, um, the night that was at the demo, King Knight. But first, here, it's a little cutscene. I need you to show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have a no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Faith. Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has become conquered by the Enchantress, and her invisible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal the shovel. 
I don't know. Those were the first two voices that came in my head. God damn it. You see what I mean? Certain bosses are like, come on. I don't want to die. I can't die against the first boss. Come on. There we go. Now, this is getting better. And, boom. Ouch, I got hurt. 